In this video, we're going to install SQL Server Management Studio SSMS 21. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. SQL Server Management Studio is one of the principal ways that you can interact with SQL Server. So SQL Server is the back end, SQL Server Management Studio is the front end, the user interface or one of the user interfaces. In May 2025, SQL Server Management Studio 21 was released. So if I Google download SSMS, you can see here the top result, download SQL Server Management Studio SSMS. And if I scroll down, then you can see you can download version 21. Now, if you want a previous version like 20, then go into previous releases and release notes 20. And if I scroll down, here you can see where to download SSMS 20. Now, normally at this point, I say another reason for using the older version is because the system requirements have changed. But if we have a look at the system requirements, we can see that they haven't really changed that much, if at all. So you need Windows 10 or 11, or if you're installing on a Windows server machine, 2016, 2019, and 2022. No doubt when later versions of Windows Server are released, then SSMS will also be installable on those machines as well. So really, the system requirements have not changed that much since SSMS 20. So we've got a minimum of 4 gigabytes and a fairly small display can be used, 1366 by 768. Now you can have both SSMS 21 and 20 on the one machine at the same time. What you can't have is say version 21.0 and 21.1, but you can have 21 and 20 and 19 and 18 all on the same machine. So let's click on download SSMS 21. And if I open it, the computer is asking if the app is allowed to make changes. So I'm saying yes, click continue. And now it is downloading the Visual Studio installer. So this is new to SSMS 21. In 20, then you had a standalone product. In 21, it uses the Visual Studio interface as well as the installer. So let's have a look at the workloads. You can add AI assistance. So this is Copilot to help you write queries and manage your databases more efficiently. You can add business intelligence. So we're talking here at the time of recording, SQL Server Analysis Services and SQL Serving Reporting Services, SSAS and SSRS. We've also got Migration and Hybrid and Coding Tools. So we're talking Help Tools and Version Controls. Now, if you want to see more about these, you can click on Individual Components and you can see these in words. We've also got Language Packs. So you don't just have to have English, you can have multiple languages and installation locations. So it might be you've got a very small C drive and you want to install it into the D drive. So you can see total space required just over two gigabytes. So I'm not going to select any of these for the moment and I'm going to click on install. So now it is downloading and eventually it will start installing. So what is new in SQL Server 21? Well, some of the highlights include First of all, you use Visual Studio now to install it. There is Git integration available. We've just seen that in the Code Tools workload. It has a smaller installation footprint and is more customizable with these workloads and individual components. There is a new modern connection dialogue experience. We'll see that when we start SSMS 21 for the first time. There are new options for customizing your SSMS experience. There are vertical tabs tab coloring by project or file type. There's minimum and maximum tab widths. In the results grid, where you've got cells which contain null values, you can change the font and background color. There is also always encrypted assessment available. And as we've seen, there is a hybrid and migration workload. So there is migration assistance. So this allows you to check for compatibility issues from upgrading from lower versions of SQL Server to higher versions running on-premises or on-prem and on virtual machines. Now you'll notice that it's got SSAS and SSRS integration. SSIS integration will happen later. So if you need SSIS, 
as part of SSMS, then please use for the time being SSMS 20. Microsoft say that the SSIS requires a bit more work. So now this is done, let's click on launch. And we can also do that from the start menu. So here is SQL Server Management Studio 21. And first of all, it says I can sign in with Microsoft or GitHub. So remember the collaboration with GitHub that you can do. You can create account or I'm just going to skip and add accounts later. And now we can connect to our SQL Server. So remember, SQL Server is the back engine. This, which we're seeing the SSMS, is the front engine. So if you've got SQL Server downloaded and installed on your own computer, then the server name is probably dot or localhost, one word. Now notice that we've got trust server certificate. If I uncheck this and try to connect, then we'll get this error. Encryption was enabled on this connection. Review your SSL. That is secure sockets layer and certificate configuration or check trust server certificate. So I'm going to do that and click connect. And now you can see I'm connected to SQL server. So if I click on new query, I will be able to add in my queries here. So I can type for instance, select star from, and I can choose a database. So I'm going to choose the AdventureWorks database that I've previously got installed. And I'm going to drag in my table. I'm going to change it to the AdventureWorks database and I will execute this. And here we can see the results. And indeed, you can see nodes are highlighted in a different background color. So this is how you can install SSMS 21. Now, later on, I'll show you a link for how to install SQL Server. But what if you want to use SQL Server? What if you want to write queries like this and much more complicated than this? To find out how, please go to our website, idodata.com and go over the SQL link in the menu. We have got a one hour course, a nine hour course, and a 29 hour course, all about querying Microsoft SQL Server. There are other courses on database administration, SQL Server analysis services, integration services, and reporting services. We've also got courses on Oracle SQL and SQL for Microsoft Access. In this course, we'll start from the very beginning We'll install the SQL Server Developer Edition and then learn how to write simple queries before going on to more complex queries. So for more information, please go to our website. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then please give it a like. And why not subscribe and ring that bell? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. And if you've got any comments, why not let me know in the comment section? So if you want to know how to install for free SQL Server Developer on your machine, then please click on the video on the end screen. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching and keep learning.